So I'm just going to describe to you the 30 tooths of picking with a pick. See, it's quite... I feel it's quite limiting. Yeah, I'm not very good at playing with a pick either. Like the people that do play with a pick and are used to it are very good. How they get trapped into that um, style. So, first thing I did with that when I first started was throw it away. And I started doing that the finger picking. So, that's a bass, bass method. And you can see how I strum up. Time. And I can still do the chugs with just one finger. That's the up and down motion, just with one finger. But I can do the uh, flamenco stuff. strum like with my fingernails because I figured out you got five picks on the end of your hand so you can strum oh, you use your fingernails for picks if you grow well, you can also grow your fingernails but I don't do that but just strum the back of the the strings with your the back of your fingernails so I like to come up on the with the thumb And you're kind of covering all bases. But that's how I kind of develop my style, little ones. And I tend to get a, um, a bit more of a resonating tone by hitting the string above it. So you can always I'll just do a single note. That's what you'll get with a lot of pick players. I'll stick to the one string or the two. So I'll do that, but I tend to pluck the top string. bit more bass here too. So that's what I do. Style. 
gives that 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 ring off the, the, the string above the one that you're mainly playing. So it's such a nice tone, and you, that kind of figures out where you're going to play as well, because you want to hit it in a an octave or, or like a chord form, right? so it complements it. Doesn't fight against the, the note that you're hitting.